There have been various reactions to the Nigerian government's rehabilitation of repentant members of Boko Haram. One of the most recent is the Arewa Consultative Forum's condemnation of the government's reintegration program. A public analyst, Nick Agule, supports the ACF's stance on justice, while former presidential candidate, Ahmed Buhari, thinks the Nigerian government failed the young men forced to join Boko Haram. Both were guests on The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa, as Jacinta Obuku now reports. Two weeks ago, Pictures of more than 300 commanders of Boko Haram carrying placards and asking Nigerians for forgiveness were all over the internet. The army confirmed the validity of the images and disclosed that the repentant terrorists will be rehabilitated and reintegrated into the larger society. This idea is unwelcome by the governor of Bono State and lately the Arewa Consultative Forum. The National Publicity Secretary of the Forum explains the reason for their opposition. We do not offer a blanket condemnation of uh, all Boko Haram members. What we are saying is that for them to say I'm sorry and then they are accepted into the society as innocent people. It's not enough. They must be tried. So if they are saying that they were kidnapped and conscripted into Boko Haram, there should be evidence of that. A public affairs analyst, Nick Aguli, agrees with the ACF that the law should be allowed to take its course. If these people were taking by force. They had opportunities to return home. They had opportunities to give, get, give themselves up to the military. They didn't do that. But not everyone thinks like Aguli and the ACF. Ahmed Buhari was a presidential candidate in 2019 general election. He says the repentant Boko Haram members should be considered as most of them were forced into the group. I want us to be mindful of the fact that we have failed as a country, as a government, as a system to protect the lives of these people from being stolen by uh, what I would like to call criminals, Boko Haram criminals. Now we have found a way to get them back, and the first thing we're thinking of doing is kill them. In my opinion, I think we must be careful. I think we must be apologetic for actually not safeguarding these people. This isn't the first time the federal government would be pardoning repented members of Boko Haram to the dismay of their victims. About 600 whom the federal government reported were forced into the terror group were rehabilitated in mid-2020. Jacinta Ubiuku for Plus TV, Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.